Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this video, we're gonna be building a video editing system that can also live stream for more over church. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. Link is in the description. So I got uh, was contacted by um, Moreover Church. We did some work for them doing some video announcements. And then they asked me to come together and build a system for them that can do video editing using, I think, Adobe Premiere and pretty much putting together an entry-level system that can grow with time and has plenty of space to um, and power to be able to handle what they want to do. So I'm moving my daughter's stuff out the way so I can sit down. So let's go over what we actually are going to be using. So we are going to use the, for the case, we're going to use the NZXT H510, which is similar to the case that I use for both of my systems. Really like this. Very nice design, sleek, great pleasure to build in. We have a one terabyte silicone power NVMe, which is going to run our apps and operating system. 16 gigabytes of G-Skill Rip Jaws uh, memory at 32 or 3600, 3200 megahertz. We have a Zotec Gaming 1660 graphics card. That will be good for accelerating the video editing and stuff like that. We are going with a Ryzen 5 3600. Six cores, 12 threads. Great for video editing. A EVGA 600 watt power supply and an MSI B550A Pro ATX motherboard that also has USB C header on the motherboard. So, really cool. Also, and it's a four terabyte drive, also mechanical drive that's going to be that's already actually installed. I don't know if you can see it, but it's the bottom there. Already installed for extra storage because they wanted that. So, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and get the tripod out and let's do a time lapse of a build with this, shall we?
so the system is completely installed, installed all the software. I sped that up because I know that might have been a little bit boring, but a bunch of people have asked me um, how to do that entire thing. So I downloaded the Windows Media Creation, put it on a thumb drive, which I actually just keep in case of um, bills like this. Um, bought a license from online, um, Amazon, Newegg, anything to get it from a digital download or other places. Um, if you check out my video here on how to do that. Um, and that's about it. Got all the software installed. They, the A10 Mini is going to be with this because instead of, for the same price, we were going to originally put like a deck link inside of here, which I have for another build that I'm getting ready to do. Um, but instead, they were looking at adding cameras down the road. So I just said, it's better just to get an A10 Mini and connect it. And then you have one camera right now, go through that. And then you have the, lev the ability to add three more cameras in the future compared to getting a capture card inside of here and then having to go with a full A10, a switcher to add more cameras. And the capture card was $195, the A10 Mini is $295, so $100 more and you have some growth potential. Um, they're going to be doing um, Premiere and a bunch of other things like that with this system for video editing, so I think that's cool. So all I'm going to do now is pack this up, let Windows finish its last um, download and update, put this in a box that came with it, <laughs> pack it up and drop it off, and that's about it. So. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Moreover Church, for the opportunity for me to build a system for you, and I hope you get some good use out of the system. Um, also installed OBS in the complete bundle. I always throw that in for people who are buying systems from me for live streaming and stuff like that. It gives them a good head start of where they need to go. Um, and I think that's about it. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And I want to thank the patrons whose names are listed on the screen right now, who made this video possible with their awesome contributions. And if you like what we're doing here, you can become a patron too for as little as $1 a month, where you help us train and equip media ministries all over the world. This is AJ. Thanks for watching, folks. We will see you on the next video. Later.